There we go. I can't tell yet. There we go, another one while you're talking. Not as big, but there would be an eater. And this is what we're talking about. If you're gonna keep some to eat, which is fine, we're not saying don't eat fish, we're saying just keep the smaller ones. And a lot of times when you fillet these fish out, if you do it right, um, you know, the bite is less than a forkful. Bluegills are fantastic table fare, and we always stress the fact that you want to keep the ones that are 9 inches or less. Now the fact is, you need to have a quality knife to maximize your yield off of the smaller fish. That is where a 6 inch Bubba Blade Whiffy Knife comes in very handy. This allows you to get around the smaller fish with ease, and you always want to get the most bang for your buck. Now that you have your panfish fillets, I want to share with you a bluegill slider recipe my brother Bill came up with. One, get panfish fillets. Check. Two, get some of your favorite salad greens. Check. Three, get some mini sandwich buns. Check. Four, make tartar sauce. This is a mixture to your taste. One part mayo, one part sour cream, pickle relish, minced garlic and shallots, and some lemon zest check. Five, now for the breading. One part flour, one part breadcrumbs, one part panko, some paprika, salt, pepper, onion, and garlic powder to taste. Check. Six, pan fry the breaded fillets in a light amount of high heat cooking oil for a few minutes on each side. Stack everything on the bun and away you go. It's so easy and so good. And ba -ba -ba boom. Whoa. Property. Crappity? Crappity! Everybody loves a crappie, don't they? <laughs>